Hey everybody, this is Brandon from Clark Planetarium, and I'm here with a bit of sky-watching advice for mid-May 2020. So, what you're seeing here is a simulated view of the sky facing south from Salt Lake City. This is using the same software that we use to model the sky when you visit us at the Hanson Dome Theater at Clark Planetarium. As you can see, I've set our time to a bit before nightfall on May 15th. Now, what I want to show you should be visible right after sunset, so I'm going to move time forward just a bit. Uh, keep an eye out in the west for something to pop out shortly after the sun is gone. Uh, well, two things, really. Uh, as it becomes nighttime, you should see two bright points in the west. Well, one very bright point and another not quite as bright point. I should also mention that I'm doing all this without simulating any light pollution, so based on how much artificial light you have at your viewing location, you might have a tougher time seeing that lower one. But the point is, those are both planets! Uh, the bright one is Venus, and the dimmer one is Mercury. Of course, planets don't stay in the same place in the sky from one night to the next because of their and Earth's orbital motion around the Sun. Uh, Venus has been in our evening sky for months, but it's on its way back now, and it's a little closer to the western horizon every night. Uh, Mercury, on the other hand, is on its way up, and will reach its peak altitude over the horizon on May 29th. That means they're getting closer together every night, which I can show here by bumping my clock forward in 24-hour increments. Uh, you can see on May 21st, they appear very close together in the sky. Uh, but if I keep going, you can see that Venus will be gone by about the end of the month. It also kind of looks a little bit like I'm getting a reverse sunset as I keep bumping time, but that's just because the sun will be out a little bit later in the evenings as we approach the solstice. Uh, so that's it! Uh, just keep an eye out in the west. We've got two beautiful planets out there. Uh, and don't mourn too much for the loss of Venus. It'll show back up in our mornings around mid-June. I hope you liked this video. Uh, we've pr been producing a series of video lessons that we're calling Dome from Home. Uh, but this sort of more informal lesson is kind of an experiment. Uh, if you liked it or have anything you'd like us to talk about in future videos, be sure to leave us a comment. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. And happy sky watching!